What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel side and you enjoy my content, you can uh, ring the bell and be notified for future readings. Just saying, just saying. This is um, week four's reading for sign aside. So this will resonate if you have any aspects of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Feminine, and Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. All I take the messages that resonate. Um, I got one channel in as I was meditating on your week four of November 2021's reading. And the message is keep your vibration high is what I heard. Keep your, vib keep your vibration high. So, you know, vibration is energetic. Vibration has nothing to do with money. It has everything to do with vibration. How you treat people. Honesty, trust, respect, loyalty. Integrity, those kind of things. So um, it sounds like there might be something in your life that's going to person or people that's going to try to lower your vibration or a situation that's going to be tempted to lower, you, lower your vibration, however that resonates for you, uh, if that does resonate. Um, because the spirit message in that was keep your vibration high. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. It's a free general reading, so only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. The world reversed. High priest is upright. The emperor reversed. You intuitively know cycles are being stuck. Some for yourself. Some for somebody else. For strategic reasons. However, soon a shocking series of chain of events is about to occur and it's going to break the cycles wide open for them. In a wonderful, positive way, some for you, some for them. Okay, so you plug it in, however that resonates, if that re resonates for you. So um, for some, the cycles are intentionally being stuck for you. For some, it's being stuck for another person. You have to plug these messages in how it resonates, but you're highly intuitive and you know that it is being stuck intentionally um, if this resonates for you. Um, but I heard um, some kind of shocking series of chain of events are about to occur to where um, it's going to break the cycles wide open and um, um, the wheel's going to start moving. Some for you, some for the other person. So um, somebody's intentionally sticking the wheel. They're intentionally sticking it. I don't feel it's you if this resonates for you. I feel it's somebody else. Somebody else. Some Somebody's sticking it intentionally for you. Somebody's intentionally sticking it for another person. For some of these situations, it could be both. But the wheel is intentionally being stuck. But you're highly intuitive and you know this. You've got high, high priestess intuition um, energy up here. You know it's being stuck. Whether anybody's physically told you in the 3D or not, you, you're noticing it. You know it's being stuck. So this is cycle being stuck. You know when it's being stuck. And um, I heard soon a shocking series of chain of events is about to blow it open for you, for some, for some, for the other person, for some, for both. So this is them not having control over the situation and it basically being unstuck, the wheel being unstuck. Now, whatever situation or situations this is and however it resonates in your life, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. For some, you could be dealing with Aries because this is Aries energy. If you are, they could have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and behavior of Jupiter. If you are. For some Sagittarius, they are about to reveal very important information on a very toxic Aries. Very controlling. Some of these Aries have committed crime, serious crime in the past. Fraudulent marriage. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. So for some of you guys, you know about a fraudulent marriage that Aries has put either you in or somebody else in. Um, and you're about to reveal that information. Maybe that's what blows this open for some of you guys. For some, this Aries could have put you in a fraudulent marriage and you're just finding this out. For some, they could have put somebody else in a fraudulent marriage. But however that resonates, it sounds like you're going, going to blow... Um, blow the information open for some. For some, somebody else could blow it open for you if you're the one stuck in this fraudulent marriage. 
You plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have a sign aside. A particular Sagittarius's twin flame is about to attempt to reconnect with them. They have been very, very, very hateful to you in the past. It would not be smart. Okay, so you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. I heard a particular Sagittarius's twin flame is about to try to reconnect with you. I heard it would not be smart because they were very, very, very hateful to you in the past. So if this resonates with you, you either know they're your twin flame or you think they're your twin flame, however that resonates. But um, they're about to try to reconnect with you, but I heard they were very, very hateful you, to you in the past. Twin flames are supposed to be there to build, help, grow, build, and um, love you. Um, and I'm just being for real, for real. Whoever this is, I think you might think they're your twin flame, and I'm just being for real, for real about that because anybody that is hateful to one somebody that's not their true twin flame and i'm just being serious i'm serious about that so i think you might think they're your twin flame they're coming off as giving ungiving unloving unkind towards you for some it could be a masculine energy or a pen that takes on heavy masculine energy and it's not over because they want to reconnect with you um so for some you could be dealing with scorpio if you are they could have scorpio and their sun moon rising venus fourth moon maintain for jupiter charts you plug it in how it resonates i mean I don't feel it's a twin flame. I heard they were hateful to you. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, no, nobody's twin flame should ever be hateful to them. Ever. You're supposed to be there to build, help, help build, grow, and um, love the person, not be hateful to them. But you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Hateful energy is abuse, if anybody needs to hear that. That's abuse, not love. Spirit, okay. Queen of Cups upright, the chariot upright. A very giving, loving, and kind Sagittarius is about to go on a trip, trip of a lifetime. Traveling, lots of traveling. Personal. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Well, this is beautiful, Sag, if this resonates for you. Because you're a very giving, loving, kind Sag. Uh, so you give to yourself, to the universe, to others. You're very giving, loving, and kind. Heard you're about to go on a personal trip soon, and it was specified personal, so it's not professional, it's not business, um, and it's going to be a trip of a lifetime. So I think you might travel countries, you might travel states, you might travel um, wherever. You're going to be traveling, 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 I'll tell you that, um, but it's strictly for personal, it's, uh, that was specified. Um, it's not a trip of a lifetime, so it's going to be a trip you will never forget on a very positive realm. So this is you uh, giving, loving, and kind. For uh, I'm assuming for some, you're probably going to take people with you. Um, I think you're probably going to take either a close friends or a close family or a close what have you. Somebody you really want to enjoy the trip with, with you. Because you're coming off as giving, loving, kind, queen of cups, upright energy. You could be a femme or a masculine takes on heavy femme energy. But you're going to try, I mean, you're going to be sightseeing. I feel sightseeing energy um picture taking um um hotel stays uh connecting with people i mean just living it up energy you plug it in how it resonates if that resonates for you that's beautiful
And a particular Sagittarius is about to promote a channel. They thought about it in the past, but they're about to now because they see the real truth. It's going to help this channel really grow, and they know it. Highly intuitive Sag. Okay, well, that's a good one, too. So if this resonates with you, um, I heard you're highly intuitive, and you thought about promoting some kind of channel in the past, but you did not. But you see the real truth now, so you're going to do it now, and I heard it's going to really make the channel grow in a very positive way. For who this is for, um, it's not your channel, I'll tell you that. It's not your channel, it's somebody else's. So you might promote it word of mouth. You might promote it on social media. You might have a channel and promote it. I don't know. It could plug in many different ways for many different people. But um, I think you were lied to about this person or channel or people in the past. And uh, But you're seeing the real truth now with your own eyeballs and you're about to promote it. Um, so how would that resonate for you if it does? For some, you could be dealing with a cancer because this is cancer energy. If you are, they could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and or Jupiter. If that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have, Sage. Wine and donuts? Wine and donuts is what I just heard. Wine and donuts. So wine and donuts, what a combination. I mean, it sounds like a cool combination, but what a combination. Wine and donuts. So maybe you like wine and, wine and donuts or somebody you're connected to likes wine and donuts or you're eating wine and donuts with a friend or you're eating wine and don donuts when you go traveling. Um, I don't know, some kind of wine and donuts energy. Somebody, maybe somebody you know likes wine and donuts. You plug it in how it re resonates. Wine and donuts. Princess of Wands reverse, the hang woman upright, the sun upright. A Sagittarius is about to find out about a huge betrayal of a Pisces soon from someone else. It's going to make the Sagittarius very happy so they can make plans to move away from this person. Okay, so you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Heard a Sag is about to uh, learn of a betrayal of a Pisces. It sounds like a Pisces betrayed you in some shape, form, or fashion, Sag. But if this resonates with you, you're going to learn about it from someone else. From someone else, not from the Pisces, it sounds like. Sounds like. Um, but I heard it's going to make you happy that um, you're learning about this betrayal. Because uh, for some of Pisces, for some of Leo. Okay, for some of Pisces, some of Leo. So for some, a Pisces has betrayed you, for some, a Leo has betrayed you, and for some, possibly both. Uh, they can have Pisces or, Pisces or Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, Jupiter, if that resonates with you. But I heard you're going you're gonna to learn about it from someone else. So you're not going to learn about it from the Pisces. You're not going to learn about it from the Leo. You're going to learn about it from someone else. But I heard it's going to make you very, very happy that you're learning about it so you can make plans to move away from them. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. This is the betrayal of the Pisces or the Leo. They have no desire, drive, or motivation towards you. This is the enlightenment of the information from someone else. It's going to make you happy. So you plug it in how it resonates. Enlightenment. Oh, this is enlightenment energy. This is uh, Leo energy. I uh, heard in here, Pisces or Leo. And um, that's your person. It could be a femme energy, Pisces or Leo, or masculine takes on heavy femme energy. However, that res resonates for you, if that resonates. All right, let's get a tea leaf and then I'm going to close it. A particular Sagittarius is about to have so much chaos in their complex soon that it's going to cause them to move much sooner than they thought they were going to. 
huge chaos in their complex. Spirit messages you have for Sun Sag. Okay, I heard Sag is about to have start having huge chaos in their complex. Complex. So that could be condo, duplex, rental, etc., etc. But some kind of complex energy. I'm thinking apartment complex, duplex, condo, something of that nature. But however that resonates, um, I heard it's going to cause you to move a lot sooner than you had anticipated. So. Um, some kind of huge chaos energy. I wonder. I hope they're not trying to break into your house or your home or your rental space or whatever. Because um, for some, it could be that possibly. For some, it could be just um, maybe like um, trying to break into your vehicle or vehicles or camper or trailer or ATV or, or something crazy. It's some kind of crazy chaotic energy. Sounds like it's going on around all around the complex. Um, hopefully not directly related to you. For some, it could be. For some, it could be indirectly. But it's going to be so bad or coming up to be so bad that it's going to cause you to move a lot sooner than you had anticipated. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Cat, a two-faced friend. This could be that Pisces or Leo in your life. I'm feeling for some. For some, it could be that supposed twin flame, because I'm telling you, that twin flame does not sound like a real twin flame if you ask me. A two-faced friend. A particular Sagittarius is about to call for some one person out, for some several people out. They will lie to you, know this, Cover, covering their ass. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, a particular side is about to call um, some people out. Um, for some, it's one person. For some, it's several people. I heard they will lie to you, know this. Some regarding workplace situations. Some regarding where where you were. Okay, some regarding uh, workplace situations and some regarding where you were. So you're gonna call somebody out, somebody uh, out on where they were, and they're gonna lie to you. Um, for some, you're gonna it's some kind of workplace situation you're gonna call them out on, and they're gonna lie to you. For some, it's an Aquarius. So for some, it's an Aquarius. So we have, okay, so you had Leo and Pisces in here. And that's um, fake, falsy twin flame. Um, I feel it could be the fake, falsy twin flame, the um, the Leo, the um, Pisces, or that Aries. Or that it could be the Aries in, uh, putting somebody in a false marriage, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Um, or an Aquarius, because I heard Aquarius too. So a lot of signs in here. So you have to plug these people in, how they resonate. For some, it could be one. Oh, for some, I heard it's one of you uh, calling one person out. For some, it's two or more. So you have to plug these people in, um, how they resonate. But I heard they will lie to you. But you are going to get the truth. You're highly intuitive. Okay, I heard, but you are going to get the truth. You're highly intuitive. So they're going to lie to you to cover their ass. But I heard you are going to get the truth. Now, however you get the truth, I'm not sure. But you are. I heard you are going to get the truth. Um, I don't think it's going to be from them. It's going to be from somebody else. Um, probably. Um, you're highly intuitive. So you're highly intuitive. So when they lie to you, I think you're going to know they're going to lie to you. For some, it was where they were. For some, a workplace situation. Um, for some, something else. It could be that twin flamey trying to come back. It could be that false marriage. It could be the Pisces and the Leo. You plug it in how it resonates. A two-faced friend. So they're being very two-faced. They're trying to cover their ass. But I heard you are going to get the truth. So however you're going to get the truth. Hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance.
A particular Sagittarius is about to help someone they felt like they should have helped a long time ago. And they're about to do it now. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Heard a particular particular Sag, if this resonates for you, Sag. Heard you're about to help someone that you felt like you should have helped a long time ago, um, but you didn't. Um, but you're about to do it now. Now, for some, I'm feeling it could be the, the first message in this is what I'm feeling. Um, but you plug it in however that resonates. Maybe for some, it's that promotion of somebody's channel. Um, possibly for some. Um, it could be, or it could be any other kind of help in any other way, um, if that resonates for you. But I heard you felt like you should have helped them a long time ago, and you never did. But you're about to do it now. Now, this could be a phone call to authorities. This could be a phone call to police. This could be um, information that could really help them in financially. Or this could be a reference. This could be a positive word in. This could be um, maybe um, testifying for somebody in the court of law. Um, this could be um, maybe doing a service for um, cheaper than you thought you would do it for. It really could resonate a million different ways for a million different people, but you never, um, you thought about helping them in the past, but you never did, but you're about to do it now. So however you're going to help them and whoever, however you plug this person or people in your life, if it resonates. For some, it could be one person. For some, it could be two plus people. For some, it could be a family. You plug it in how it resonates. For a particular Sagittarius, they are about to sell their home a lot quicker than they had anticipated. A Taurus is about to betray them in a huge way. Theft. And very lazy. Oh my gosh. So you, you plug it in how it resonates. So you're dealing with the Taurus. For some, they could have Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Haven of Jupiter. Um, one of you guys, I heard you're going to sell your home a lot sooner than you had anticipated. Um, you're dealing with the Taurus in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard theft. They have stole from you or are about to steal from you, and they're very lazy. So they're either just stole from you or about to steal from you, but they're very lazy. Uh, for some, I feel you could uh, have hired them out to do something around your home, possibly. Or for some, it could be your partner and they're stealing from you. Um, however, that resonates and it's causing you to sell your home because you don't have money maybe for mortgage or for repairs or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But however that resonates, um, a Taurus is connected in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, I feel you are hiring this Taurus out and they're stealing from you in your home. That's what I'm feeling for some. For some, I feel it could be a partner. Um, and they're stealing from you and maybe hoarding the money. Um, but you, um, for some, um, I'm trying to think what else it could be. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. For some, it could be, um, it could be like, um, if everybody, like, if you, um, have several people live in your home, maybe it could be a, um, wife of your, of a kid, maybe one of your kids, maybe one of their wives. Or your kid is stealing from you. Maybe the course is your kid or a wife of your kid um, or something of that nature. But somebody's stealing from you and it's having to do with your home situation so bad you're about to have to steal your home, uh, sell your home. So you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you. All right, you guys. Well, we're done. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.